Say the line, Taylor. Moving on. Tech meme review. Tonight's drink of choice is water, not even the Russian kind, because it's hot. It's like 10.30 at night when we're filming this and it's still like 105 out. Thanks, Arizona. <laughs> Pretty much. Anyway, uh, this, this time's themes are uh, mechanical keyboard memes. Uh, for those of you who might not know, huge into the mechanical keyboard space. I do all the reviews for mechanical keyboard related stuff. And I even have an article written over on our affiliate, Culture of Gaming, about like mechanical keyboard stuff, oh so uh, go uh, search it up. Link will be in the description below. So, let's get started. Me picking my college major. Me picking switches for my new keyboard. <laughs> the worst part about this meme is that he's stopped browns. Like, he's clearly ruled out browns, and that is a very poor life decision. Like, I you, can't blame the guy. Have you ever typed on browns? It feels like you're getting a blowjob on every finger with every keystroke. <laughs> uh, moving on. My parts for a keyboard from Drop, Glorious, and Ally Express. Parts from Ally Express will thrive first. That the, that is almost essentially me right now. I'm not gonna lie. I am, I am waiting for my GMMK Pro to come in from uh, Glorious, and it's been three months now. Yeah. yeah, it's been like three months now. Yeah. Expected delivery is within a uh, Q2 of a uh, 2021, and so I guess it has like two weeks. But yeah. So anyway. Expected. I know. Expected. <laughs> it's I, I, expected. Yes. So, yeah. Although, in all seriousness, I actually do have, like, fairly good luck with Ally Express. I've done lots of keycap sets from Ally Express, and the boat has never sunk on the way over. Let's just say that. Moving on. I love this meme format, by the way. Which one is it? It's the Anakin Padme one. Oh, that's yes. That's been, like, there, popular there, lately. There are a couple of okay. there. Don't worry. How do you fix a keyboard? Some keys are a bit sticky. From eating, right? From eating, right? Or, uh, in my case, uh, you know, boarding a keyboard by spilling a uh, sugary uh, alcoholic beverage on it and uh, staining the keycaps. Yeah. A rum and coke. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there are kids watching. <laughs> Probably not. not yeah, I, don't know, I, I like this meme format. <laughs> I, I just. I feel like I have identify with the feeling Anakin gives in the third panel a lot. You can, like, you can vibe with it? Yeah, I vibe with it. All right. <laughs> Moving right along, I'll have a 65% keyboard. How original. With Hiragana Sullivan GMK keypads. Daring today, aren't we? That is, yeah, that is very uh, popular because, you know, a lot of people are uh, apparently too normy to give up things like arrow keys. So, yeah. And then their weeb ass goes and gets, you know, Hiragana on each keys and it's just like, you don't even speak or read Japanese. Although the aesthetic is pretty cool. But if you're gonna commit to it, one, just do a straight 60%. You don't need, uh, you don't need arrows, do you? And just get it in Japanese in the first place or blank keycaps. That's a real baller mode. I have lost control. You okay? I'm blocking you. This, this slight like, meme is probably older than I am. Honestly, like I have seen this for years. It's still funny though. It is, yes. It, I feel like the meme review would be incomplete without it. Plus, it's a fairly modern tape. Like, this looks like uh, a WhatsApp conversation, and that looks like a uh, RGB mechanical keyboard. So, yeah, fairly modern take on the meme. I like it. <laughs> Moving along. You managed to get a sealed high demand GMK set for $250. Nice. The same set is coming out for around two in a month. Okay. It ships Q4 2023. Okay. Everything's good. If. Do not get into mechanical keyboards if you really want instant gratification, because you won't get it. We're talking a time scale of months here, okay? May. Quarters. <laughs> Years. <laughs> Alright, moving along. It will ship next month, right? Then next month, right? Pretty much me right now, yeah. Been through it. I feel like anyone who's been into the mechanical keyboards hobby for any amount of time is very soon to experience it or has experienced it at some point just you know it's like with sort of like niche hobbies in general i guess there's you know the whole like drop format of shopping is a thing and that's what i'm thinking for but man you get some good shit out of it so it's hard to hate moving on tape users be like only 16 keys best layout ever
Yeah. All you need. Yeah, no it is. <laughs> we never needed anything more than just a dial pad on the phone and a screen, you know? All you've ever needed is a uh, more strut sender. Yeah. It's all you ever really need, right? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's like, uh, speaking in terms of like a keyboard and everything though, it's like, I've seen some 40% keyboards and I just think that gets a little bit iffy just because of like how many layers you're gonna have to go through on a daily basis just for usability, you know? Anyway. Fun fact also, before the iPhone came out, in Japan there was this wide held belief that the more buttons a phone had, the more useful it was. So you get these just monster devices with like something stupid with like 60 buttons on it. Because the Japanese apparently thought that the more buttons something has, the more functional it was. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I don't doubt okay, it. Yeah. how their language works. Yeah, you can go back and uh, search on like older like uh, oh, you know what they Sony phones. Have? Yeah. So, basically like the equivalent of like an electric drum set, but with keyboards. Yeah. And it's just circles of like different types of buttons that do different things. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you want? Do you want? I want to see. Come at this. Got me thinking about like control schemes on keyboards. Mm -hmm. I want to see like what the ThinkPads used to do. The little mouse nipple. You want to see that come back? Yeah, I do actually. In a mechanical analog format. Yeah, it'd be like it'd be like a fun gimmick to add on to like a mechanical keyboard, like a little like mouse nipple. Talk about this one way too much. It's, it's nothing. It's not another keyboard, right? Not another keyboard, right? <laughs> Fellas, make sure you get yourself a girl who understands and appreciates your hobbies for what they are, okay? Giant money pits. Moving on. Building your own PC. Dogging on people who buy pre-built. You buy a pre-built keyboard. He get mad when r slash mechanical keyboards dots on you for buying a pre-built keyboard. Yes, that is gatekeeping and I absolutely hate it, okay? Honestly, it's like, you don't need to build your own mechanical keyboard to get into the hobby, okay? Sometimes, you know, it's like you just want a better experience than offered by a rubber dome, but don't necessarily want to, you know, go all the way into being super choosy about like, oh, I'm gonna get like these uh, clear browns just because the RGB will shine through better everything. So if I just want a better typing experience, don't really care, just want better typing experience, go an RGB, go pick up like Corsair or Razer or GMK does, or a Glorious Master, or just Glorious Race, right? They drop the master from it. Um, Glorious Gaming Race, whatever they're called. Uh, I'm sorry, they're new. Um, Glorious Gaming Race does do like free builds too, so. You know what, maybe the idea of waiting several months for individualized parts just doesn't appeal to people. I don't know what it could be. Moving on. Now that I am done mining, I can sell all my GPUs at MSRP, right? MSRP, right? Yeah, um, this is not a mechanical keyboard related meme. They're, they're no, like I know, I know, it's, I know, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> at MSRP, right, so, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. I feel like conflating miners with scalpers might not be the greatest thing, but miners can definitely, so I guess what I'm saying is like, miners can definitely scalp their GPUs, but uh, scalpers aren't necessarily miners, if that made sense. True, yeah. but I don't, I would assume they would take advantage of the situation too as is. No, you're 100% right, I'm just saying. Without the market's completely inflated. Yeah. All right, anyway. I didn't love the Anakin meme. AMD FX, AMD Athlon, AMD Ryzen. Yep, it's only gotten better. Now, if only they made a GPU that was good. The 6000 series solid. Compared to a 3090? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, never mind. I take it back. Like the, the, like this, like the 680 XT is actually a really solid car. Okay. 690 is comparable to a... Uh, comparable to a, a 30 or 3090. Okay. Give or take a couple percentage points. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, like they've actually made a pretty decent lineup. I'd say equivalent to how the you know the Fury X was. It's it's not all the way there in most aspects, but it's definitely competable. Okay, good for them. Yeah. All right. Hackers and movies. Nice Eve set up there. Gamers and movies. Hackers in real life. Gamers in real life. There's this one episode of, I'm pretty sure it's NCIS or whatever, where it's like, they said, it's like there's a killer just like trolling a game or something like that. And it's like Agent Gibbs set up, like 
has this like baller set up for his nephew or whatever who's like really good at this game or something and basically has him catfish the killer on an online game but dude kid has like a baller set up they gave him like a little theater room with a projector and whatnot surround sound it was awesome nice yeah all right anyway yeah hacking is incredibly boring in real life and especially more so to watch unless you're really into the technical aspect of it so <laughs> that's why they only do it on a you know, see your laptop. Yeah, see, it's like you really want to make sure it's uh, cool looking for all the media and whatnot. No, no, no. Second monitor. Where's my purpose? Discord and sometimes Spotify. Oh, God. That's how I, that's how I uh, justified having a uh, 1600 by 900 second monitor for the longest time. Which is because I'm just going to use it for like Discord and Spotify. That's it. Nothing really useful going on to it. it it's one of those things, it's like, it's not useful until you actually have the workflow that does it. Right, exactly. And it can take a while to, like, train yourself into a workflow that uses it and everything. Yeah. It's like, I've been so reliant on, like, triple monitors for so long that it's just like, even just on a laptop like this, I just feel incredibly constrained. Speed of sound, speed of light, speed of sound, there's fine GPU. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, this isn't empirically possible, but I understand the sentiment. I mean, when they're having bots do it for them. I know. <laughs> but it's like, it would only maximum travel at the speed of light. Anyway. I know it seems like instant. Technically. Yeah. There's this, uh, I don't know, there's this uh, one instance where it's like uh, this big insider trading group once got busted or whatever uh, because this group was operating like within Chicago and whatnot and placing like the orders from Chicago into the New York Stock Exchange. And it's like, they got busted because they sent they sent whatever order they were doing, I don't know if it was like a buy or sell or whatever, uh, to the stock exchange, just a little bit too early. And so it was insider trading, so they knew it was gonna happen, but they timed it just a little bit too early. And it's, it's like, basically it got a red flag because it arrived so perfectly in time for a certain uh, like action that the stock took or whatever. That it's like a work in investigation and it's like well turns out they it's like they got provably busted for insider training because they couldn't have been reacting to that information because it took like x amount of like the speed of light to travel between chicago to new york and it's like they beat it basically you know it's like yeah so it matters the speed of light matters well, that'll do it for this tech meme review. Tune in next time when we run out of video ideas and need to come up with one quick. And uh, I have no idea what the theme will be, but I look forward to it. This is fun as always, and it's a nice break from like editorial content and whatnot. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you follow us on Twitter at tech underscore four underscore thought, the number four, by the way. And uh, check out our affiliate, cultureofgaming.com, for gaming news, reviews, opinion pieces, etc., etc. We will see you guys next time.